7 centimeters tall with a 185 centimeter reach. Ryan Spice Boy Rhodes, he tipped the scales at 160 pounds. He's 5 foot 7 inches tall with a reach of 71 inches. This is it. This is that fight. This is that argument. I don't know what to expect. The Dark Destroyer himself, Nigel Benn, one of the greatest English champions of all time. This legendary middleweight fights out of London, England. Ryan Spice Boy Rhodes, who at the age of 20 became the youngest post-war holder of the British title and has also challenged for the WBO middleweight title. You can hardly hear yourself speak. The fans are going mad for this. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from London, England, here is a middleweight and super middleweight champion of the world known as the Dark Destroyer, introducing Nigel Benn. Fighting out of the blue corner from Sheffield, England. Here is a British, an international, and a European light middleweight champion. Introducing Ryan Spice Boy Rose. Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown. You couldn't buy a seat in this place. You'd be very lucky if you're ringside, but you know what? Watch it from home, you've got everything on a plate. So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down when the opening bell rings. Then he said this fight would never happen, and yet here it is, and here we go. No rest for the weary. Which fighter will say no moss? Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. The crowd here cannot wait. They've been buzzing all day long, and finally, we're about to get it on. It's so hot, it's so heated. There's a roof on here, you don't understand. When you're working, when the noise is there, the pressure's on, you're thirsty, you're sweating, and you're getting under. You're on the wrong side of a beating. This can be hellfire on earth. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Another scoring shot there. So much firepower here. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Beautiful counter shot. No power in those punches. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Talk about Nigel Benn. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Thank you. 
Here we go, it's round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. How you deal with a slugger? You've got to use brain over brawn. Boom and a matador. Pop, jab, move. Get them angry. Quick punch scores. Punch scores. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little twitch you do. So you've got to fight a counter punch is smart. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Halfway through the round and there's not a lot separating these two. Which fighter will say no moss? Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Nigel Benn. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. And that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to get back in the action. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Good left counter that lands. Should we be surprised if these two fighters go the distance tonight considering how much they've emphasized their physical fitness? Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. Counter shot with the right hand. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he misses with the left uppercut. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Fantastic punch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's 
talk about Nigel Big. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fight to get out there and get the job done. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up as we get set to jump back in the action. On to the fourth we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. He missed with that jab. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get caught to ribbons and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is gonna happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've gotta get him inside close rounds. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. These punches coming from every angle. That punch lands. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather right back into the action. Hey. On to the fifth we go. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this that can seriously hurt you? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter.
This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Back and forth they go. And you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close rounds. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations, and they throw them nonstop. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Nigel Ben. That, that, that was that almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Time winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. And there's the bell for round six. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. He just misses with that big right hand. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. Beautiful counter punch. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Nice punch. Oh, that punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Nigel Ben. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? Wow, it was like two different leagues.
The referee calling for seconds out as we get set to jump back in the action. Five. Here comes round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire with fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you gotta think him. You just gotta be smarter than him. You gotta be like a little fagot and pickpocket him. It's defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. You know the scorecards are gonna be all over the place in this one. Talk about yes, Nigel Ben. Right. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Mate, he shot it. Come on, look across at him. Look at him now. Fight. It's so important now in this first minute of this next round to get on top of him. Time winding down as we get set for another round. And they're back at it again here in round eight. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Timing beats speed, speed beats power. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower, calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Punch. Good counter punching. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he misses with that jab. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. This has been a very competitive round between these two. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit. 
be a lot harder. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Talk about Nigel Benn. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. And that'll do it for the time between rounds as we get set to get back in the action. Both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. And just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Which one of these athletes is going to say, I can't take it anymore? Good left hand. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they Ryan Rhodes just got walloped. <laughs> Looks like they've shaken it off. Punch. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. He got out of the way of that right hook. That punch landed. The defense failed them. Talk about Nigel Benn. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. The referee calling for seconds out, right back into the action. It's round 10. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then.
power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? And he will hold here, and Ryan Rhodes just got walloped. You can see he does not like being grabbed onto. How did they not go down? This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed. And at some point, the corner needs to decide we have to protect our fighter. Keeping those gloves up, the guard high, paying dividends as it seems that that moment of trouble has passed. Nice job landing that left counter punch. A script like this. This is like rock. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Nigel Ben. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. The referee calling for seconds out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather. Here we go in the championship rounds, round 11. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Trying to answer back. So his offense gets stifled there by a clinch. <clears throat> Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. A perfect counter shot. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Left counter punch will score. What a punch. Big right hand just misses. Ryan Rhodes just got walloped. Oh, and just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it's a knockdown. Oh, no, come on, get up. Get up, he can't be over. Four, five. That counter shot lands. Let's talk about right Nigel Ben. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be, considering that round will be 10 8 after the knockdown. Can make or break a fighter. Relax, relax. Now go into the law. That was 
ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. He's hurt. He's ready to go. The referee calling for seconds out as we get set for another round. And there's the bell for round 12. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff though. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Lands with the right counter. Nice exchange here from both men. Left punch. Nice counter shot. So much firepower here. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. And wait a minute. A left hand lands. There's a counter shot. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Another win, another unanimous decision victory. They've done it before, now they're doing it again, and look what's happened, a unanimous decision. What a way, what tactics, what a game plan, what a result.